Mr. President, pleasure to have you on again. Thank you so much. Everyone is wondering about the counteroffensive. Um, there was a, f a, a sense that it was slower than expected. Now there is some hope that it is speeding up. Uh, can you give us a sense from your perspective? What, how is it going? It depends on many directions, on many cases and issues, how to uh, speed up counteroffensive. But remember that we need the result. The result we, we need, we have to get our, our land. We have to get to occupy the land. And it's all, all, also not about the land, it's about the people. Because the frozen war is not the peace. Putin, he wants to take all our country, to destroy all our families, houses. Because if he understands why he destroyed, he understands that, that Ukraine will never go back, go away from our land, will never do it. That's why he has to kill us. Yeah, he, he want to do it. Th that's why when we when we speak about the con counteroffensive, it depends on many cases. Of course, we gave a lot of time for Russians. We gave a lot of time to prepare to mine, to, to put the mines in, to it. put the mines on the fields and on the big territory. And so you you see the three defending lines. And that's because you were waiting for Western for the weapons. weapons. That's why I said, yeah, yeah. That's why that what I said. It depends on many issues. We wait, look. We waited too long. It's true. No, I'm thankful to partners, to United States, EU, other partners. I'm thankful very much, President Biden, and to Congress. But we have to understand. We first we waited too long. They put mines. Then when we been ready from the point of view of our partners, because the decision. To give us, for example, Bradley or another kind of weapon, the decision, it doesn't mean the result. You don't get them immediately. Of course, the, of course you don't. Of course you don't. So, you, something still on the way. Till now, when we are sitting and speaking about it, when counteroffensive, when a lot of different people said that it's too slow, but it's still on the way. Do you feel as though uh, when you go to uh, to Europe and the United States and you and you make these uh, demands, you 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 have these lists of weapons. Do they listen to you? Uh, first of all, what we need: long distance weapon systems, long distance artillery rounds, systems, etc. Everybody speaks about the ATACMs. It's very important. Everybody speaks about the jets. For example, in the sky, it's very important. We have the decision. Let's let's start from the attack camps. I hope, and I will speak with President Biden. For me, it's very important his thoughts and his support in it. I think he can change this page and this war. Once he did it with the high mars, it was very important with high mars. So it's about the attack camps. I will speak with the President Biden. Again, it's not the first dialogue, so we are moving. I hope we'll get it in autumn. For us, it's very important not to do the pause in this counteroffensive, and I need it very much. The second, when we speak about the jets, and I said before the counteroffensive with our partners that they have to, to know and to recognize that we don't control the sky how to control or even to compare with the power of Russia in the sky. All of us want to have success and happy end. First of all, it's not a movie, it's not one, one hour and a half. It's, it's about counteroffensive. It's not the movie with the happy end. We will not have happy end. We lost a lot of people, no happy end. That we have to recognize it, a victory that's only one thing that can bring the occupation of our land. It means not to give possibility for Russia to attack other countries, Baltic, Poland, and then to bring all of us back, you know, by this aggression back to USSR. We don't want. That's only position for this. Victory is not happiness. Victory is only one possibility to ally. And People in the West have to recognize it. Not our 
not our values, common values, not our war, common war. We pay the highest price, it's true. And I don't want to repeat this words. Everybody know this word, but they can not only know. People in the West have to feel it. And you can choose. Feel it when your family is under attacks. You really want it. You really want to, to try it. I, I'm, I'm not, I can't recommend it. There are people who say, um there has to be some kind of negotiation. We can't go on like this. Uh, the president of Brazil, Lula, has said Ukraine needs to get out of a Cold War mentality and compromise and even uh, understand that some territory will have to be given to Russia. I'm paraphrasing, but I think that's roughly speaking the kind of view. And you know, you've heard this. What do you say to people like President Lula? First of all, he has his own position, it's his rights. I'm okay with people are free and they can give their position worldwide. But I think he, he doesn't understand that the position of Putin not to stop the war. That is the answer. His position to continue. His position to continue the war his position is to divide the Europe. His position is not to have strong European continent. One prime minister told me, and it's true, and she, she, she's one of our friends, she said that, you know, why I'm supporting? My question was, why, why you support us? And she said, uh, people who understood Putin, have to choose only you support Ukraine or you support Russia. There is no other variance, really. There's no space in between. No space between. It's true. The, 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 the question of the time. The question of the time. When you will recognize it and when you will understand it. It means that if Lula don't support us, he will. If he doesn't support us, he will support Russia. Even if he doesn't want. That's why Lula, maybe he said, I don't know what, what did he mean, but he said it about that it, we, we have to stop the war and we have to find compromise, compromise always with the people who are ready to compromise, who are compromistic to other issues. Did you see any compromises from Putin in other issues? Did you see? Did somebody saw? Did somebody see? With Chechnya, with Georgia, with Moldova, he occupied it, all these countries. He divided all these nations. Do you, do you think Putin is stronger today or weaker um, after Prigozhin, after everything? I think he is, you know, my, my, my thoughts, that is the real face of him. That is the real face. There are the answers how he see his life, the life of people, how he see what will be tomorrow, uh, how he control. And you will find in this, on, in, in one case with Prigozhin, you can find, and even Lula, he can also find for himself and such, uh, such partners, they can find all the answers. Just see the way he handled Prigozhin. Yes, that is the answer. How Putin control everything, he control only people's minds, but he doesn't control what's going on he, in, in, in the country. He doesn't control. Then, he, when he understood that a little, a, a, bi, a big part of society supports Prigozhin, what he did, he killed him. But before he killed, he gave him promises. The territory of Belarus gave him new locations. The Africa issues and businesses, a lot of different things. So he lied to promotion. Yeah. Yes, of course. That's mean, and that is the answer. When you want to have compromises or dialogue with somebody, you can't do it with a liar. Uh, back at home, you are fighting corruption. Um, you fired the defense minister, you've put a new defense minister in place. 
this is something as you know people in the west worry a lot about there's a lot of money going to ukraine um, do you think you have been able to stop this uh, and put in place a system that will stop it first of all we have to understand that that everything which today um, belong to justice in Ukraine justice for today for people is very sensitive and it's because of the war because our fighting for these values the, 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 we, we can't you know uh, we can't uh, give possibility to live that way which we lived during some years before and etc dozens of years it doesn't matter now how, how many years ago it was it means how it will be after the war and after the victory. It, another country, another people, another generation, another way. So that's why. But are you are you getting to we, the, Are you able to make the changes to get to course. that new way? No, no, no. I have no. I have no another way. Here, here, I don't have alternative, and I don't want. We don't want to have any compromises with any not only corrupt corrupted things or people even thoughts about it you know but look there are a lot of people who say there has been a lot of corruption in this first year and that it, that's why you are firing first of all you have to know all these cases all the all, all these cases are not with the help and not connecting that the as not connected with the help of our partners. So it's not about the weapon of our partners or money for the weapon or uh, money for the uh, budget to uh, give uh, pensions, social support, etc. It's uh, in other cases. It's not about the partners. So, so part this, these are Ukrainian these funds. These are Ukrainian been... cases, but anyway, yes, but anyway, it doesn't matter for me now. We will fight and will in the, and win in this war. But again, I'm underlining it's not the money of our partners. Also, it's important to know. Finally, 600 days of war for you, non-stop work. Um, how are you holding up and do you get depressed? Do you, how, how are you managing? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm okay. So I can live with it. And I, I, sometimes, sometimes I don't, I don't have a lot of time. But sometimes I'm looking on my children. Yes, they are in Ukraine. They are very Ukrainian, and I'm happy that they are here. I mean that this generation will make Ukraine the, I think, great because they are, they are very strong with all the positions with all the values with all you know they're very free and i'm so happy then i look like i said i'm i'm looking to the mirror i i see another person older <laughs> maybe wiser <laughs> maybe wiser thank you thank you our friends say say wiser <laughs> and other people say older but it doesn't matter my wife i'm happy that i have she's nice she's so strong She's day by day, she's stronger and nicer and younger. She has a lot of energy. So you look older in the mirror, but she looks younger. <laughs> yes. And you see, this is, yes, and you see, this is the same mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, thank you so much. Thank you, you so much. You've got to go get back to, to the war. Yeah, thank you so much.